Thanks for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. A beautiful sunset taking shape across the area. And uh, that sun uh, gave us a nice warm day today. Tonight, it's Shields a Weather Kid Night. Joining me now is Ava Hastings, Cleveland Elementary, Fergus Falls. Come on out. Anybody of you want to say hi to out there? No? No. All right, let's get on with the weather. All right, current temperature here in Fargo. What is the temperature here in Fargo? 33 degrees. All right, what's the wind chill? It feels a touch colder out there. 29. There you go. Very good. We're going to look at some other temperatures across the area now, and uh, I'm going to step on over here so we can see some more of these temperatures. Tell me the uh, temperature up in Bedette. It's a little colder up there. What's the temperature up in Bedette? 12 degrees. There you go. How about Thief River Falls? 21 there? 21 degrees. And then how about your hometown, right there? 28. There you go. We're going to add, look at those wind chills now. And again, wind chill's not too bad out there, but uh, how about Detroit Lakes? What's their wind chill? 25. And Bemidji? 13. There you go. Some uh, cold temperatures out there, but it doesn't feel too bad out there, does it? Lots of sunshine that we saw today. Do you like the sun or the snow? Both. Perfect. A lot of people like both. And what is this blue that we do have up in the Northern Valley? Snow. That is snow. Does it, does it look like a little bit of snow or a lot of snow? A little bit. A little bit of snow. Yeah, we're seeing a little bit of snow up there, and that's going from the uh, Pembina area down over into portions of uh, northern Minnesota. And we'll see a little bit of snow there as we head through the overnight hours tonight. Now, outside of that, is there a whole lot going on in the area? No. No. Where's the closest snow besides this? Is it way out it's over north of the Green Bay area? Green Bay. Yeah. Very good. All right, now we're going to look at the rest of the country. A lot of green down here under the uh, Weather Kids sign there. What the, what's the green mean? Rain. There you go. A lot of rain down there. In some cases, some flooding rain down there. A little bit of pink in the mountains of Tennessee, and the pink is... Sleet. Sleet falling in those areas. For us, we've got that little bit of snow. May cause some minor accumulations up north, and we'll look at that in our forecast as we go through the uh, all 7.30 hour. We do have that blue that's making its way on through, and I think... It's going to be a little bit further north. But temperature-wise, what's the temperature going to be in your hometown? 25. And what about that wind chill temperature? 19. All right. How about up in Grand Forks? A little colder there. 21. And the wind chill? 11. There you go. We're going to go through about 10 o'clock. What happened to all the blue? A lot of the blue disappeared. That snow goes away, but the cold. Look at that. What's their temperature going to be? Zero. How about their wind chill? Minus 13. Yeah, it's going to be a cold one up there. Not as cold in much of the rest of the valley, but northern Minnesota will certainly see that. Through tomorrow morning, a chance for that light snow, that goes away. So by tomorrow morning, how about the debt? Minus 7. Wow. How about Wadena? 13. And your hometown? 20. And a wind chill of? 9. So yeah, you'll want to bundle up if you're headed out very early tomorrow. What's all this white stuff that we've got out here? Clouds. There you go. A lot of clouds out there. We're going to see a lot of clouds as we head through the day tomorrow. How about Bemidji's high temperature later at, at 11 o'clock, their temperature? 11. And Wadena? 17. All right. Yeah, not too bad. The clouds go away for a little bit, and then they come right back as we head through the day tomorrow. And by 10 o'clock tomorrow, we should have to see temperatures. Yeah. How about Bemidji? 18. Grand Forks? 26. There you go. In your hometown? 25. All right, speaking of your hometown, we're going to look at the uh, bus stop weather. Step on over here with me, and we'll look over in that way. And the, what's the temperature going to be in the morning? 18. And how about the weather? With cloudy flurries. And I gave it a B. What do you think with that grade? It's good. All right, good grade there. How about uh, we're going to go with the recess weather. What's that weather going to be like? 23, mostly cloudy. And I gave that a B, too. What do you think? It's good. You like that one, too? All right, we're going to go with after school, the best time of the day. 25. And Lot, lots of clouds. And I gave that an A. What do you think? I like it. Because we're going to see a little bit of sun and school's going to be over for the day and it's <laughs> going to be over for the week. All right. Tomorrow we've got the flurries, but what about Saturday? What does that look like? Rain. Yeah, we're going to have rain, snow, sleet. We're going to have all kinds of stuff. Temperatures in the mid 30s. Come on over. We're going to join staff on over here. We'll talk about the rest of the seven day forecast. How about the Monday, Martin Luther King Day? Got a little bit of snow there. What's the temperature going to be? It's 31 there. And then what about by the end of the week? Colder? All right. You but didn't... what do you think about those temperatures? 30s in January? That's not too bad. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> you still want to see some more snow, though, don't you? <laughs> A little bit. She right, likes the snow. Go. 